Good morning, folks, and welcome back to another episode of ATV a Little Wet this morning. Our good friend Steve has picked himself up uh, from Bay Marine a brand new single cylinder 700 Outlander XMR, and it's got a ton of goodies on it, too. So let's go pick this bad boy up. I've been very curious to take a look at one of these for a while. So since we heard they were coming out, right? I'm kind of curious. I'm excited. Let's go grab Steve and head to Bay. Cheers. Good morning, everybody. ATV here. Just want to give you a friendly reminder that uh, the 2024 Jeep Wrangler 392 Hemi has arrived. Rush on down! The 805 Gardeners Road, Kingston, Ontario. Visit Jim Thompson Chrysler. Tom, you want to take it for a, a little boot? Yeah. You all dressed up like a prim and proper, eh? You going golfing today or you going to pick up a wheeler and get dirty? See if you held onto the wheels and tires we got you, eh? What size were they? 28 by 14. Perfect trail tire. 90% of the machines out there. Two locks, fur players, full tire. It's Steve up a thousand bucks. Wow, boys, a thousand bucks. You hear that? First thousand bucks takes it. It's worth it to take the tires. <laughs> Sell the rim separately. Yeah, easily. But you're right. If you want to get rid of them super fast, don't. So, all right, let's go pick up a brand new Outlander. I guess, you know, while we got the cameras rolling for the next couple minutes, why don't you tell our viewers what was the deciding factor? Why trade in a, a pretty new twin sportsman for the single 700 Outlander? What did it for you? One reason, one reason only. Really? I hated water. It was that, uh, straight That's up, it. just hated straight water. Up. Didn't want to deal with the belt box issues. Well, I had the belt box issues when I snorkeled it. When, when I went back to the factory snorkel, I never okay. had another belt issue. Yeah, I forgot it was snorkel. You can't, you can't snorkel. Yeah, because they are not very nice to do that. Yeah. No, because it's running all the way from the back end of the bike to the front end of the bike. You can do it. It just it takes a lot of work, and then and you got a lot of vibration, a lot of upkeep, because you got to check on them all the time. And too. I was cooking the belts. I took four belts with them. Yeah, that's a that's pain in the ass. At three hundred dollars a belt, you're adding yeah. up there. That's twelve hundred bucks a belt right away. So, well, there you have it, boys. Just plain up water. Supposed to rain all day. Where I'm seeing some breaks. Hopefully it does because if it does, I think Steve's gonna get out, <laughs> and we're gonna get out with him, and maybe see how this new uh, 700 single performs. I'm so excited for that. I really am. All right, we are good. You guys are packed. Look at that. The beat or uh, Sandman is still here for sale. All right, here we are. Let's go see Steve's bike. Let's go find it. Those tires are actually, wow. Okay, a little meatier than I remember, bud. A lot more aggressive than I remember, to be honest with you. Yeah, they're way more mud than, than what you got. I bet you those tires were good. Look at how sharp that is. Yeah! Leo is missing. It's the Outlander. Well, it's named. We've named it the Outlander. Look at this thing. Wow. Why did they take that sticker off? Because of these added fenders. They've named it. We're calling your bike the Outlander. 
Wow, that's close. One of a kind, bud. A kind. So these are an extra, Steve? Yes. Obviously. Oh, yeah. Wow, they're nice. They're clean. Wow. All new design. Can-Am 700 Outlander. Look at the knee insert. Like, getting aggressive and tucking your knee up under this. Yeah, cool go. Click removable plastics. That's smart. That's great. Storage bucket up top. I think we'll see if Danny... Oh, look at the snorkel. Ooh, very sweet. cool. Very stealthy. Steve by a hair. Look at the size of the handguards. They're going to provide an awful lot of protection. Holy crap. USBs inside, I see that. With a magnet, uh, I do believe magnets. To hold your phone. It has a 30 amp USB, this one. Okay. Oh, yeah. With lightning. Really? Yeah, it's a 30 amp. Oh, slick. Charge cameras and everything right on the fly. Yeah, yeah. Wow, I think Steve got him again by a hair. Storage box, front and rear bumpers. Hello, folks. Hello. Are we working hard? Oh, yes, working hard. I can see up the hill is big. Okay. Wow, robust. Oh, these are killer. What? Ever. I'm buying one of these. Battery box located back here. <laughs> yeah, buddy, man. Beefiness to the uh, sway bar setup. Very interesting, right? So your exhaust, everything off of this single is mounted right from the rear. So you're gonna have no heat up front. It'll be interesting to see what kind of exhaust systems get released for this. <laughs> Look at the cargo box. Holy, lots of room for beverages. You still get your intelligent throttle control. You even get your diff lock. So it's got all the advantages of the new 23s. I like the winch switch. switch. That's completely different. That's integrated right in. That's kind of neat. Very clean. These are better than what we've got. For sure they are. That looks great. Hold on or off. Quality, man. Actually, everything looks really good. Nice looking wheels on her too. And uh, Swamp King, you're right. That is the name of them. The Swamp King tires. Vented to take some air to the engine on the inner. Provide as much cooling as possible. The room to get to your radiator, even to clean it at the back and through the fan, is great. Up like this too. Sorry? How easy that oh, was. your toolkit is up here. Beauty. Radiator, uh, a lot of access. You aren't kidding, Steve. And they've even got a little pre-screen down here. Oh, yeah, yeah. But the, uh, the room to get into the back to do yeah. proper maintenance, it's awesome. Bad. It's all really shielded well. Oh, that's cool. That's great. In case your winch is completely buried, somewhere to tug off the bumper that's actually meant for it, I assume. That looks awesome. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your winch hook and you're gonna attach it right here. Keep a little pressure. I like that. Also added the A-arm guards to the front. A lot of add-ons. Beefy ball joints. Winch is tucked away nicely. Did that have to be added, Steve, yeah, or did this model added. come with the winch? No. Okay, so right here, I see we got an airbox tube and it looks like we're only getting one. Yep, okay, so that's the difference right there. Keep an eye on that. I would like to see probably a clear boot. I like the clear boots better on that so you can visually see what's going on. I'd probably swap that out with a clear one. Benefits from the new headlights as well. See tucked up in there. God, that front diff looks actually really beefy. I'm really shocked that's as large as it is. Comparison to the, the back one. With single cylinder, they usually have a fairly small. Still with the fob, okay. New location. 
And they give you a tether. That's kind of nice. Yeah. Oh, it does too. Look at that. Just like that. That's pretty slick. Better than having it done to your bars because I've seen them freeze and turn the bars and yank your key. Actually, that's a really great idea. That's another really small touch, but a great innovation. We could fire it up. Let's we'll see what a stalker sounds like. So the key's on. What you do here, Steve, is you're going to flip your kill switch off. So we're good. That's how you're going to shut your bike down from now on. No more key. Okay. So you turn it back on. It's one touch to kick the fuel pump on quick. Can you give it a second? You'll hear it. Yeah, I can hear it. I think I heard something. We wait. And then we just hold it one more time. That sounds nice. Oh, it's going to be nice and quiet. Very smooth. So I think they have a P-Drive primary on this bike, which apparently is extremely smooth over here, and it's going to be behind all of that jazz, eh? Yeah, watch how easy it is. You already know, do you? Okay, seat off, and then just pull up, Steve, is that your... I think so. I think that's all you got to do. Looks like it. There's oh, yeah, very simple, actually. Oh, wow. Okay. There's our first look at that single cylinder. Cantered back. Wow. So is our spark plug going to be really easy to get to then on this one? Just a different type of setup. Also, they put posts up top. Even though the battery's stored down here, you got charge or um, boosting posts. That's excellent. So something else I guess we could look at is fitment. I mean, fitment-wise, everything, everything looks great. Yeah? Looks good. Looks really good. Jesus, bike, eh? Yeah, I see we, we've named it already. Have you? Utlander. The Utlander. I've seen that because of Fender players, eh? Yeah. What, what, what I said. I said, oh, what happened? The damn sticker. Then I look at the other one. I'm like, it's because you got the your add on Fender flare. So yeah. this is the Utlander XMR 700 single cylinder. Utlander. And man, does it ever look cool, Danny? It does, dude. I like really sharp. Under the Kali-Leans look to it, eh? Yeah. yeah. All the lines, all the plastic, the fitment, all very nice. Very, very they got this one right for sure. Very clean. Very tight. Awesome. Hi. Yay. And then hold it down, it turns them off. Did it? Hold it down. Did. Okay, there, they're off. Okay. So you have the option to run no lights. I actually, I love the look of this That's bike. Nice I love the styling, I, I know, like the I'm look of it. it oh, I am too, man, I'm blown away. Outlander, the first Outlander I've ever saw. Yeah, it's an utter beauty. Let's take that thing home. Frickin' right. Oh, that's smooth, big time smooth, bud. You can tell just by looking at it. He's got front rear bumpers on and everything. It just is. Full on can and die now. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. yeah, I think it looks absolutely awesome. Look at that shifter linkage rod. That's pretty beefy, too. But yeah, look at this access here, Steve. So there's your oil. Check your oil over here. But I mean, you're really going to be able to keep this thing clean. There we go. That's their link system, giving you a little bit of slop, is what you're saying? Yeah. Okay, so those pop, unlock. Oh, it's that easy? Yeah. You're looking for a piece of foam that sits just a little bit higher than your length. This, you can see at the back. Where is it? Right. You in? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So then let's look and see if they're lined up this way. Yep. Okay. Let's try it again. Push down. That's locked. You're locked. That's better. Gooder. 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 No, once you get it. It's gooder, isn't it? Yeah, that's gooder. That's good. <laughs> Yeah, so a really simple couple twists and a yeah. push button on this side that locks it in right here, but there's our airbox right there, boys. Access. Wow. Easy, eh? Yeah, one, two. So it's got two 
goes under, and the two here will keep the pressure down. Ah. Have to wrap the end, okay. That's smart. Let's yeah, take a look. So learning, eh? Yeah. Yeah, it seems like they've learned a few things. So we take our air box off and take a look at our gasket. I'm very curious. Okay, so there's our air filter. It feeds down in on an angle. That's a tight little box, mm -hmm. isn't it? But it's a single. It doesn't need all that space. He's just going to have a dirty on this one. You know what, though? This being top mounted like that, that's kind of good. Yeah. You can go it's deeper. Really you can go way deeper than us before it even touches your airbox seal or lid. You know? Nice foam insert in there. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I was a way over the top. Just like that. Very fine right down in there. Like that. And if I put the adapter. And that's your access to your airbox. And then I set this back down. Here's stuff. Yeah, I know. He's a joke. And then you put it up like a donut tie. Like one of the you know, okay, so we'll have to make sure that these are kind of. You think you what you want it, you want it? Hey, that was funny, eh? Does it look at it? No, they didn't even take a peek. Yeah, this here. Bro, they catch know, it's not even there. <laughs> yeah, that's what he said. It's like, oh, yeah, oh okay. And then down. So click sideways, click sideways. Like that's in like perfect. <laughs> that's actually quite easy access. So it is. It's 876 pounds. Right. 47. 47 for width? Yeah. Okay. So it's 53 long. Yeah, so if we went uh, 53 from center, center axle off. nut, that's what they're obviously talking about. Center nut. 53? Yeah. yeah with nine inches travel in the front and almost 10 inches in the rear. These Swamp Kings are, are aggressive. Aren't they though? Hey, eh? they're, like they're, they're super like aggressive. Them. I didn't remember them being so aggressive, but frig, I'd like to try them out. I bet you they're gonna work awesome in the mud. The engagement's stiff on ours. Mm -hmm. This one's as smooth as butter. You can't feel no lurch, no engagement, nothing. It just starts moving. Wow. It's all over but trying her out, so. Yeah. Hi, puppy. How are you, honey? Yeah. How are you, honey? Hey, boys, if you ever want to dry your hands in the rain, I'll tell you right now, this large board is better than dice and at the old service center.
tree bars. Well, that's a nice ride through there. Whoa, is that ever smooth? Yes. Feedback, all right, okay? what do you got? When I used to do a hundred on the Polaris, yes. it felt like a million. Okay. When I do a hundred on this, it feels like a hundred. I do not mind pinning it. I've already pinned this like at least 20 times today. <laughs> right? So this Whereas is why you're not for the first little bit. Twice. I might have pinned it twice, maybe three times tops. Yep. This thing feels so much comfortable on the road. Hey, whoa, whoa, what's that? I said I sunk here. Yeah. Small sunk on that side. Yeah. But if you stay here, stay in the shell. Here, it's fun, eh? It gets deeper as farther you go out. <laughs> sunk like it's that deep, eh? Oh, he sunk oh, it. Like, uh, yeah, I, I had to call him on there. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you see it sport mode, Steve? I'm trying to see if your belt box is sealed, are you? Well, you just have to take a little bit deeper. Right there is above your belt box. Let it sit for a second. Give her a little stab and see if you got grab. Yeah, you got grab. Holy shit. Holy shit, that's pretty good, man. It's got grunt, boy. Send a wave over my way to say almost dead. Yeah, that comes up pretty good. Wow. Wow, eh? Holy shit. Nice. That's not even deep, man. I'm impressed, man. For a single, it lifts so easy. You're the camera guy. <laughs> Go again, brother. Sorry. Let's, let's do this all over again. Oh, fuck, Joe. As we already discussed, it's got tons of power. Unbelievable, eh? What'd you think? Oh. So smooth though, did you not think? Oh yeah. This thing wow. is a hundred times better than the Polaris. Yeah, eh? A hundred times. That's good. It lifts really easy, man. <laughs> it really is. The old 660 didn't lift like that. Comes on like a good thing. Impressive. And it's a heavy wheeler, so it actually controls really well. Stays planted, didn't seem to float up on you.
Yeah, that's about as far as you're gonna wanna go. <laughs> I think we're all pleasantly actually surprised. I'm surprised. I gotta credit the tires a lot. It comes on pretty quick with no work necessary, bud. Hold on, we'll get it out, tip it up. Don't start it. By being wet, we're just drifting that void and not down the sand. It's good engineering. You don't know when you fold it if it's all uh, milky. Milky or clean oil. Oh, you're laughing. Awesome boys. Congratulations on your purchases. Thanks Bay Marine because they made you guys some good deals. Don't take much to make me happy. Drops the tailgate and the water just flows out. Loves his Outlander. We're gonna need one of them OMC gaskets for the rear hatch. They uh I think they work. If I recall the reviews were good, so man, it's ever worked good though. Okay. There's sediment in the bottom here, so you get a little bit of traction, and uh, these all these machines just loving this spot for sure, except for the Honda. Honda does not like this spot without a snorkel. No. Scuba Steve over there, he see center.
chew it up on you first because it'll make it a lot harder. I would try a little left of them. Don't use the same rut when you're coming out. He might need help though. Yeah. What the fuck was that? Rebar. Soupy Steph. two by high yeah. and maybe he's getting even more weight on the back tires that's a lot closer than i would have thought it'd be i really thought the uh 650 block it because they come on pretty good they do yeah <laughs> okay spazzle Wow, I 
think Steve got him again by a hair. And the boys have barely enough room to slow down, so we better shut this down. I think you had him by a bit, eh? I just want to take off. I need to go. Well, the tires have a lot to do with that. I have a feeling we got a little better performance out of those in this terrain. Absolutely. Well, that thing was down. There you have it. Two out of three, it actually took the 650 Outlander, which is kind of shocking to me. The Outlander 2023. New for Can Am. 700 single. Rear facing. Oh, that's a little. We're doing the two Y. Hi. So you got the, uh, we're back to the AM. Brakes work good. Oh, we got a bug right in the eye, boys. That's gonna slow us up. All right, back to the test of the Outlander. Holy shit, that guy got me good. That was dirty. So the clutch is incredibly smooth. super smooth super smooth so it's really like the acceleration's good definitely for what it is and how heavy it is so i think it was well we had uh, a little over eight and a half hundred yeah a little over 850 i think it was 865 or something like that dry weight so definitely into the nines but uh for that a sample it's got great pull but i think yeah that's actually pretty good that's pretty good there, no problem. Still odds. I like it. It's incredibly soft, but still flickable. Still flickable. Enough power. Definitely enough power that it's very flickable. That's great. Definitely handling the weight. There's a rock. It's a little bit uphill, so we're giving we're giving an advantage to the Outlander. We'll see. What will she do? Because it's so smooth, I think it's having a bit of a tough go at it. So she might just be, I'm not uh, heavy enough, not enough transfer. Yeah, I probably will with a heavier person. You gotta preload it right, just right, you know? Like you gotta give it a blip, let it really dive and catch it as it's picking up. Try one more. 
Yeah, it could go. Just needs a bigger ass on it, that's all. On the asphalt, man, I bet you Oh, on the asphalt, yeah. probably, yeah. That's right. I think I want to keep it the yeah. Outlander. Really like it, though. The Outlander, yeah, you probably should. Just leave it the Outlander. It's a very, very first of its kind. It's great. Yeah, dry as a bone. Oh, it is, eh? Yeah. That's good. Yeah, that is pretty that's good, good actually. Good. We'll have to go deeper next time. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> it. I don't think we had it above that though, idling. I, I think I had it right up to the top of the fenders, right? Yeah. Pretty much the whole CVT, the exhaust it. was under, it was and I just gave it a quick idle check. Didn't leave it too Fuck long. Fuck, boys, that was fucking wicked, though, Steve. But you gotta know, is this bitch gonna stay running underwater? You better know that quick. And we found that out today that. Yeah, no problem. Does. Not a problem. 700 didn't have a problem running on our water today. No. no. She's and sat idling. Nice just sitting there going glug, yeah, glug, glug, glug. Just sat there, glug, 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 and glug. Did not as good you like. No way. No, and it actually uh, didn't have any signs of having water in the belt or any penetration <laughs> either. So This thing is rock solid. But you know, Steve, like like the way I like think about it, you know, like. We really didn't have the right players for the ride we no. were taking, you know what I mean? Yeah. We wanted to do for the stuff we wanted to do. We didn't have the right bikes for what we wanted yep. to really do. Yeah, well, the problem is the only model that they sell that is no suited for that comes with pretty much, yeah, no power steering, right. crappy yeah. ass steelies, yes, and yes, not yes, enough yes. clearance around the, you know, hubs to even clear a pebble, you know, and uh, in itself has belt box issues until they're addressed properly, yeah. so. You know, the boys did some work to make yeah, their high lifters worthy right. opponents. And then when they were worthy opponents, they were absolutely worthy. Sometimes taking the cup for the day, multiple times, the high lifter outperformed. Because the guys that were riding them were pretty experienced as well. But uh, they did fix the the issues. You can get away. No brains. You can get away as long as you just go over and make sure everything's nice and airtight on your bike. This is way easier. Stock can have a way better great. option. Yeah. Twenty-one thousand dollar high lifter. Yeah. Twenty-one thousand dollar high lifter without power steering. Yeah. yeah. Suck my. Yeah. I'll pay thirteen. I don't like the idea. It's coming at fifty. Yeah, I mean, that's just. Kind of yeah, fun. that was another problem. But they reflashed them, right? Did so they? Oh yeah, so yeah, absolutely. They, they unleashed them. The thing is, is when you unleash the players. With a reflash by the right person, which was RBS, he did a outstanding job for the boys. Oh, he turned, he turned them 1,000 high lifters in an absolute menace. Really? Eh? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, definitely performed up to uh, 
expectations.